Hello, this is Breakfast with Roger Johnson and Naga Manchetti. Marvellous Mo Farah wins his 10th straight athletics gold medal. He's a one-man world superpower. It's gold for Farah. He stormed his way to the 10,000 metre title, much to the delight of the home crowd and his children. Mo Farah wasn't the only star on the track last night here at the London Stadium. Usain Bolt began, began his bid for a 12th World Championship title. He's through to today's semi-finals. Good morning. It's Saturday the 5th of August. Also on the programme. A British computer expert will spend the weekend in a US jail after being accused of creating software that steals customers' bank details. Ireland's first openly gay Prime Minister will attend a Pride event in Belfast later as he warns that the clock is ticking on Brexit talks. And with warnings that holidaymakers could face long delays at some European airports, we'll have the latest advice from travel expert Simon Calder. Jay's got the weather for us this morning. Good morning. Some sunshine around today, but also quite a lot of cloud in the sky, and that's going to deliver some showers, and some of those showers could be quite heavy with the odd rumble of thunder. Thank you, Jay. Morning. Our main story, Mo Farah has described last night's 10,000-metre final at the World Athletics Championships as one of the toughest races of his life. The 34-year-old, who is due to retire from the track at the end of this season, has now won 10 global titles in a row. He's amazing, isn't Incredible. he? Incredible. Just fantastic. Now, earlier in the evening, Usain Bolt also began the defence of his 100-metre title as he competes professionally for the last time. Our sports news correspondent, Natalie Perks, was at the London Stadium. 